Yo, 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 what's going on, people? Welcome to another installment of Tony's Takes. Going back to indoors, Tony's Takes. This is too cold out there, too nasty. Ain't trying to do that outdoors, you know? But anyway, we got to talk about this. It's going to be very interesting. This is actually going to be our main topic for tonight. Very interesting stuff. I actually was made aware of this late last night. That's why I didn't do a video yesterday. So basically, let's scroll down a little bit. This is from Alpha R, but let's go to the original story first. So basically, it was reported yesterday that according to EA, Xbox One has only sold 29.7. Let me let me look at this number. Yeah, 29.4 million consoles worldwide. That is insane, man. Um, as a matter of fact, let's read this article and then, you know, we'll dissect it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it looks like the original was for Variety. Okay. Um, according to Variety, which crunched the numbers, Microsoft has sold around 30 million Xbox One consoles by the end of 2017. By comparison, Sony has sold more than 73 million PS4 systems in roughly the same period of time. If the numbers can be believed. This means that Microsoft has sold fewer than half the quantity of consoles in the same time period, and not even the Xbox One S and Xbox One X have managed to boost numbers significantly. That's something we talked about on a previous episode, how basically... Even the Xbox One S X did not help Microsoft boost numbers at all. As a matter of fact, things have been a little bit lower. Um, Microsoft doesn't give out sales figures and hasn't done since it was evident the PS4 was wiping the floor with it. Yeah, I think it was 2014. They just flat out stopped giving out those Xbox One numbers. Very interesting because all last generation during the 360 era, they gave you numbers all the time. They, 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 they You couldn't like stop them from giving you numbers you know very different situation this generation you know uh, however thanks to ea ceo andrew wilson we now have an estimation into just how many xbox ones have been sold as he explained both xbox one and ps4 sold a combined 103 million units by the end of 2017 very interesting okay so this is what my man has to say turning to our expectations for fiscal 2019 we expect sales of current generation consoles from Microsoft and Sony to continue to be strong, with the installed base growing to 130 million consoles by the end of the calendar 2018, and from 103 million at the end of calendar 2017. All right, so the article goes on to say, Wilson may not have broken down the numbers into individual console sales, but because Sony does disclose just how many consoles it sells each quarter, we can work it out. At the start of 2018, Sony issued a statement declaring that more than 73.6 million PS4s have been sold as of December 31st, 2017. It doesn't take math geniuses to realize this leaves around 29.4 million Xbox One consoles, equating to Sony outselling Microsoft by two and a half times as many consoles. Damn. So that's the story that came out yesterday, right? And obviously, as you could you know, imagine, fanboys were not happy about that one, right? Very, very, very interesting. Before I go to the follow-up here, not, not last Sunday, but the Sunday before that, we were asked... I'm throwing your question. We were asked, what do you predict will be the lifetime sales of Sony, uh, Nintendo, and Microsoft, right, for their respective consoles, right? And I had said that I predict by the end of the generation, whenever the generation officially ends, and just so you guys know, as far as I'm concerned, generation ends when they stop. Not generation ends, but the generation ends for a specific system when the company stops making that console. Like, I know some people say that generation ends as soon as the new one begins. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. Generation for whatever console ends when they stop manufacturing the system, right? So whenever they stop manufacturing Xbox One, X, whatever, I predicted that they were gonna sell 45 million tops, right? Between 40 and 45 million. With this information, I'm adjusting my numbers. I think by the end of this generation, Xbox is going to sell between 35 million and 40 million. I don't think there's much life left in there. I don't think Microsoft can do anything to revive the system. For all intents and purposes, the Xbox One is is done. They're, they're, you can't do anything. It's Not only is it too late for the generation, but the Xbox One already has that stigma around it, right? Can't shake that. You know, I said, you know, I'm not going to get into it now, but I believe the only real hope Microsoft has for the Xbox brand is release a new console, start all over again, don't make the same mistakes, right? But this this one right here, the Xbox One, it's over, right? But anyway, let's move on to today. As you can see the headline there, Microsoft 
slams claims of poor Xbox One sales as quote unquote inaccurate, but they still refuse to admit how many it sold. Yeah, that, that's the sticking point right here. Um, let me read this. After yesterday's news that the Xbox One X, I keep saying Xbox One X, the Xbox One was lagging behind PS4 sales by more than 40 million units, which you can read below. Microsoft has provided Alpha with a statement on the matter denying such claims as inaccurate. So this is what Microsoft says. The projections are inaccurate, a Microsoft spokesperson told Alpha. Regardless, we are focused on delivering amazing gaming experiences to players on all devices and engagement in our measure of progress. Okay, listen. Microsoft obviously has more accurate numbers than, than EA, right? Mm, how do I say this without upsetting some people? No, I'm just going to say it. <laughs> okay, if, if EA's numbers are inaccurate, that's cool. What are the numbers then? Right? What are the numbers? As simple as that. If EA's numbers are incorrect, what are the numbers? Microsoft has them. What are the numbers, right? This is what we've been asking for years. Where are the numbers? What are the sales numbers, right? If this is inaccurate, if 29.4 million is inaccurate, what's the actual sales then, All right? So it, it just seems a little weird to me that, you know, Microsoft is going to come out here, talk about how, okay, the numbers are inaccurate, but then they don't provide the actual numbers, right? So something's going on here, you know? Actually, we know exactly what's going on. <laughs> Even if the number is inaccurate whatever number they put out there it's not gonna look good at least compared to playstation right let's just be honest here you no listen if they've sold 50 million they would have said something right so i'm gonna guess that ea's numbers are actually more not exactly accurate but more accurate than microsoft is letting people believe because think about it like this right inaccurate could mean anything it's like okay 29.4 million is inaccurate but 29.8 million is accurate you know what i'm saying so gotta gotta keep that in mind it's a little discrepancy there you know very interesting man but yeah if the numbers are you know inaccurate which they probably are let's just be honest they probably are they might be off by a couple of decimal points you know microsoft could easily say the actual numbers but they won't because those numbers would still look pathetic compared to the playstation 4 right and according to some analysts, and I'm going to throw my hat in that race too, I think next year, the Switch is going to outsell the Xbox One, which is really sad if you think about it. The the least powerful console on the, on the market is going to outsell the most powerful, potentially. Interesting times, man. Interesting times, man. But obviously, that's what I wanted to say for this video. I want to get you guys' thoughts. <laughs> it's interesting, man. Like, on the one hand, just off topic a little bit i like doing you know outdoor videos because not a lot of people do this but at the same time i always kind of rush through those indoor videos even though they're generic as shit i i tend to take my time with them but you guys let me know what you think what you prefer but today i was not going outside it is too cold you know but anyway give me your thoughts on this story give me your thoughts on you know anything basically it's just interesting stuff man but i'm rambling right now so i'll see you guys tonight on throw down man later